Hi, I am Dr. Sara Shahid and I am a Mediria intern. This video regarding step one is made under the mentorship of Dr. Omar Tariq. This video is for someone who is planning to give step one or is in the very initial beginner stages of studying for step one. Our fellow Mediria intern, Dr. Furkan Ahmed, has made an excellent video regarding the specific details of studying for step one, and I would highly recommend you to watch it because he goes in great depth discussing all the specific details. The purpose of this video is to paint a mental picture in your mind of what to expect when you are starting studying for step one, and it puts everything in perspective so that you know what lies ahead. So let's begin. So resources and study material. First and foremost, you need to allocate the resources that you are going to use to study for step one. It is important that you pick and choose the high yield ones because there are a ton of resources available for step one. So you need to choose the ones that are going to be most productive for you. The next thing that you need to do is to make a timeline. So after choosing the resources, you can make a timeline of how much time you want to spend on each resource that you have picked because it helps you stay on track. Next, I'm going to talk about the step one resources that you can use step by step. Number one is the Kaplan. Number two, USMLE step one first aid latest edition. Number three, UWorld. And number four, Pathoma and the videos. These are going to form the crux of the study material that you are going to be using for step one. So now I'm going to tell you briefly about all of these study resources that I mentioned. Number one I mentioned was Kaplan. Kaplan, in my opinion, is a very low yield resource for step one. You can give it one quick read to get a grasp of the subject, and you can start your step one preparation with this, but I would not recommend spending a lot of time on the Kaplan especially when there are much better and more productive resources available. So first aid step one. This is a very, very high yield study material for step one. And everybody who is giving step one needs to have a copy of it. You can go through it one time before starting UWorld and don't expect to retain a lot of information from your first read because it's very complex, but it helps you orient with the book. And that is very important. Next is Pathoma. Pathoma is very, very high yield for pathology. The videos are excellent, and I would recommend seeing all the videos and then using those videos to annotate on a, the copy of Pathoma. That is very good for retaining information and it helps you with the step one scores. Then step one UWorld. Step one UWorld is the single most important resource for step one. I cannot emphasize enough on it. You can start annotating your first aid using UWorld when you start doing it. And that is very helpful. So how to use UWorld? You can either do the questions in UWorld in a mixed mode, or you can do it system-wise, where you pick a system and then you do all the questions regarding that system in one go. My recommendation for using UWorld would be to do it in a mixed mode, although it is more difficult initially. The reason for that is that number one, questions from all the systems get repeated. So that means better retention of knowledge. Number two, your self-assessment is better. What I mean to say is that if, for example, you're doing the cardio system, you are bound to pick the answer options pertaining to the cardio system. So that gives you a false sense of confidence. But if you're doing it in mixed mode, you're actually learning. 
So having discussed that, now I'm going to go ahead and give you some general recommendations before you give step one. Number one, try doing at least one block of URL per day. Number two, try doing URL twice because URL is the highest yield resource for step one. Number three, watch the Patoma videos twice. When you're doing it the second time around, you can watch them at a higher speed and that saves you a lot of time. Number four, start preparing for step one in med school because your basic sciences knowledge is very fresh. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you some mistakes that you should avoid. Number one, spending too much time on Kaplan's. So as I said before, Kaplan's is a low yield resource. It is, uh, in many cases, it's not even updated information. So I would not spend too much time on Kaplan's. Giving one single read is more than enough for it. Number two, prolonging the step one preparation. I would say make a timeline and then stick to it. Because when you prolong the step one preparation, it's not actually giving you an edge or it does not ensure a better score. Um, on the other hand, you tend to lose your medical knowledge in the process. And that is not very good. That does not reflect good on your scores. Number three, doing UWorld system wise. I would not recommend doing UWorld system wise. How to avoid a burnout. So step one USMLE exam is one of the toughest and most competitive exams that you will give in your medical career. So you're bound to feel a burnout. Uh, everyone experiences it. I would say take it one day at a time. So you can set a goal for one day and try to achieve that goal. Do not think about the entire amount of uh, study or the entire study material that you have to go through but just stick to that particular day and try to achieve that goal breaking it down really helps then i would say celebrate your achievements that is really helpful it gives you a moral boost take breaks to refocus so if you're feeling overwhelmed it is important that you take a break and I would suggest studying for step one with a partner or in the library instead of studying alone. And in the end, I would say that have confidence in yourself and in your capabilities and best of luck for your exam. Thank you for listening to me and please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.